welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll look how we can add additional digitalizations to our plan and create some more personality by creating um, like branch nulled or maybe even make small hole inside the tree trunk. For example, right here, this is, will be our tree trunk. And one, what I want to do is maybe create somewhere around this area hole. To do this, we're going to use our section tool. So right here, you'll notice we have our sections. And one thing what I want to do, actually, before, I want to take and shrink a little bit down. So you notice we create slightly smaller diameter. In this case, we can grow a little bit out. So I'm going to add the sections. The more details you want it, the more sections you want to add. So let's just as example, I'll go add even more section. So it will become a little bit smaller. Next, let's to add on the side. Okay, right here we kind of add geometry, you can see this slightly. So now we can go select example these two ones this is will be our glow and I select now I can select just one and I'm going to bring it slip it down extend so we'll select another one same breakdown extend right here you can notice we already have it kind of slightly whole the next I want to add to outside and we'll select this one Let's bring this forward. Kind of readjusting. You can see kind of build almost slightly around. Again, we can readjust a little bit more. So let's go now select this one and add little bit on the edges again this is shape you can create um, how you like it it's just concept for you just to showing that what you can do with different adjustments okay. right here you can see this is again a little bit maybe um, stretching too much so let's put a little bit up here and move this below okay as well, we can take maybe move slightly out. Okay. Let's maybe adjust this one as well. So you can see we're kind of creating the one thing again it's a little bit symmetrical so be sure you kind of creating um slightly adjustments properly bring it closer okay so let's go click ok right here you can see what we've created Sometimes maybe you want to increase preview resolution so you can see a little bit higher details. Okay, let's reduce right now. Okay, next what I want to do is integrate a little bit better with this. And we can do this by apply displacement. So let's first rename this to trunk. Okay. And just add different colors so I know. 
Okay, I want to apply displacement to trunk at that time. And we can do this by going influence. Actually, in materials, right here, segment body displacement. So we'll need connect a source. So we'll go connect parameter here. And we'll do connect amount as well. Next, we need to connect those two parameters to our fractal. You can do noise. You can try different ones. And in tutorials, we'll look how they all can affect. But right now, I just use granular fractal for this. And we'll select the nodes, reconnect them. Let's delete. And in a fractal, let's go modify. So we'll put this maybe about three. Let's take large about five. Okay, we'll take um, reduce roughness a little bit. Right here, you can see we already have it very nice. And let's take a Z and put it to about 10. What is happening? It starts stretching up. You can see we have it nice um, kind of working together again if we pop up resolution right here you can see this is have it very nice trunks and blending very well together okay next we can go inside the trunk and just modify a couple things like for example we can go ahead and add fruit flares right here to make them look a little bit more interesting so let's go pop up this to the seven and random variation will increase slightly the reduced width so they will be sharper and let's take height because currently it's 10 meters height so we'll just set maybe to about four meters going quite a bit high and let's add randomness on that one up random here as well okay maybe depth a little bit too much right here we have a kind of interesting trunk already going on so let's go to take and reduce slightly width but again the one thing what I want to do I want to have a nice width but I don't want to affect too much thickness right here with the trunk so I'm going kind of set up maybe around this way. Okay, let's click OK. If we apply torphism, not necessarily will work. Um, to bend maybe a little bit, we can go inside the um, influence and use the local base. Okay, let's go switch this to the curl. Just apply slightly. Okay, this is a nice curl, but leave it too much. So let's go 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 here as well. Still a little bit too much on curl. Zero 0.5. There you go. Just slightly bending on a trunk. Okay, I want to add some maybe a little bit branches. So I'll go create new segment. And let's create cut branches on this. Connect here inside the trunk we need to go to branches and set these to just two of them okay i want to bring this branch closer so we'll have it in a start moving up till maybe around this area okay 30 should be look fine okay let's go now inside the, our branch 
we'll set that one to about two so you can see it's kind of very close coming you know maybe even 1.5 and let's add a little bit of variation okay blending with parent you can notice right here the blending has happened very nicely and let's bend a little bit Okay, add shrink a little bit to the end. Click OK. So right here you can see we add kind of interesting branch just above the hole. So you can put it squirrel or whatever you want it. You know this is maybe a little bit too big tree, too long. So let's go to cut down maybe to seven. There you go. That's look a little bit more interesting, shrinking. And we're gonna add a few more branches on the top, just as example, we want to build all the way tree. Right now what I'm looking at is these details to edit. But as we'll show you some trees that we can create nicely. So let's go ahead and um, we'll go to geometry, segment, let's just say branches will add this way and you can add more complexity more branches if you need it okay, we'll go to our branches size let's bring this up up I want to actually bring way above right here okay we'll also pop up more branches let's set coil them around Okay, and I want to create maybe something more interesting, maybe going straight up. Yeah, we can do this. So let's do this one. Let's set zero. So they're going all straight out kind of. Right here. Don't like on top, so we'll need to take 0 0.99. Let me just take them down a little bit. And we can experiment. So this is one way to do, we'll create here in the minus maybe like 20. So we can do tree going this way growing. We adjust trunks, maybe pull up, pull up a little bit more out. Or we can do opposite. It's mean we can go inside and set angle maybe to 45. And actually going right here to the tree and set this go other ways well, maybe this is too much let's set 10 so kind of like these streets depend you can go one way or another to build um, branches how you like it but for the heavy tree and I want to open this so I don't want to hide we'll go other way so minus then here and let's go to change this maybe to 10 even just slightly 10 and let's add another 10 variations okay also we can have it a little bit more fun by taking kind of spreading So the top going a little bit more flutter. Click OK. Let's go to switch this maybe. Five. Or actually four and one on variation. Adjust this when going on influence. And let's set influence. So again, this is just example. You can add additional effect, additional branches. Like for example, we can copy paste this one. The problem is with the application when you start working, you want to add more and more. You just don't want to stop it because it's so fun to do this. 
and right here there you go we're creating we can even put some bird nest almost on top of this tree okay we can go inside our branches and maybe this set to zero let's um, add a coil as well And right here, when we have it, segment to two. Just you can see, add a little bit more um, effect, kind of branches, add leaves. But overall, here go. We have it our somewhat tree created, and most important, it's what we was working on. Okay, let's pop up our resolution up preview. Okay, right here you can see we have a nice hole modeling inside the tree. You can go ahead and model all additionals. You can do as many as you want it, just how much time you want to spend. As well, you can do similar some tree null but using displacement materials. For example, if you go inside the materials and using, you saw we're connecting we're in a fractal so we can connect the different ones and add just a little bit more holes inside okay actually you know what on top right here it's an interesting looking but let's do one more thing so on the top I'll just add like So it's almost like a bark a little bit on the top right there, eating true. Okay, there you go. There's our tree. And thank you very much for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember visit us on the web and check our, our tutorials about the plant factory.